I'm going to show you how to make your own reference art front, side, and back with Krita AI. It's like Photoshop, but it's cute and gorgeous. And you have a lot of control. So you generate an image. It's not perfect. No problem. You can even click something and change it completely. I can click on the shoes and change the shoes completely. Let me give you an example. So I have three facial expressions. How did I get that? I just copied the face. So I'm going to click on the face. And for example, let's say if I wanted something like this, for example, blushing mouth, boom. All right. Make it up one higher for it to be stronger, then boom, this is what I get. It is awesome. And let's say if I wanted the shirt, the shirt wasn't exactly what I wanted, it could be quite frustrating, and I can easily change that. Boom. Now to that, I can apply it. What is awesome. And let's say the skirt. The skirt wasn't what I wanted, all right? I wanted a green plaited skirt. So I click in here. Now to that, go up to 80. All right, and it's not quite what I want. Not a problem. Boom, green. Now it knows it wants a green skirt. And for example, if I were to do the shoes, it would make completely different shoes if that's what you want. A lot of control. Last video, I showed you how to download everything, how to set it up, just in the beginning. Now I'm gonna show you how to make your own unique characters with your own props. All right, let's get started. Click on new image. 5 by 12 is the best for computer training. That's how the AI is mostly trained off of. So that's what we're going to use. It's not going to be the final product though. We can up the resolution easily. All right. And I'm going to go to, you can go to comic. That's actually more um, different style characters, more of a youthful look. But it's cool and it does, uh, it doesn't do as well as uh a simple background, it's also add artifacts, so it's a little bit more work. But the results, if that's your style, good. And make sure you add this is really important. Add this. I showed you how to download everything you need, the add-on, everything. And my video I have in the link description. So if you're freaking out, if you don't see uh, this, for example, off to the side, don't worry. I'm going to show you how to download it. And I did it in the last video, how to download I did this one. I showed you how to download this one, for example. And once it works, oh, duh, it's in the background. <laughs> See, exit it. Once it works, once it's here, shows that, and normally it's like that, and you add this, and this is a bread and butter. This is really important. And this one's really good for reference art, and it does uh, the backgrounds I want, but it is nothing. All right, and click right here, and control V. All right, so if you want a specific style, um, character sheet, Really important for front and side and back and simple background, really important so it can do modification to it. Now, there's, uh, for example, you click this, there's reference and there's style. For if you want to do a style of, I don't know, like Princess Peach or something, you put that in there, it, you get something of uh, the thick the thick line art and whatnot. Reference, you actually would try to form uh, another Princess Peach that's halfway between Princess Peach and halfway not, for example. It's kind of hard to explain. If you want Pacific style, like you see, oh, I want VTuber like that, or reference art, try putting that in. If it's a reference art, put it in here. If it's style, put it in here, or just mix and match. Test out, it's fun. Um, I prefer not to use it, but good results if you want. And after that, exit this and generate. Now, I've got to tell you, these are my settings. I do, I have a high GPU, so I do that one. This basically means I have a buffer computer and you can go off your graphics card or run on CPU, it's up to you. And these are basically my settings. So don't panic if you don't know what's happening. All right, and see how it looks terrible? We did that on purpose. We want to do low resolution. The AI is spitballing. And this is the rough draft. Don't worry, you could up the resolution, make it look gorgeous later. And if you are seeing like the torso up, don't panic. Type in some kind of footwear and that would help. And make sure you have this bread and butter. You need that. It tells it to do three sides. Um, these aren't exactly what I want, so you can click generate. But if I would have, let's see, I only got three this time depending on the buff view computer. So let's say if I only had to deal with this, I can make this one work. Let me show you how I can make it one that's not good work. I can just um, dye the skirt yellow. And as far as colors go, 
AI usually freaks out in colors, so be careful about colors. All right. Um, hmm, I might stick with this one. Let me look through some other ones. Let's see. I did not want a long skirt. That happens sometimes. It's cool, though. The different skirt designs, depending on what you want. You can make the skirt longer, so match it from that end as well. And let's see. I might. I don't care so much about the color because I can easily change the color. I prefer if the feet are separated. And this one might be the one. I actually like it how it does the, the leafy across. I like that. So once you find one you like, just click apply and you're going to click this little wand right here and click right here. It's up too high. We're going to roll it down to 10, right click, deselect, click it again. Still click some of it, go down to five, then click on it and hold down shift and click on the other ones you don't see. Doesn't have to be too perfect. Just kind of just give it a, the rough colors of it. I would recommend going higher, but it seems to freak out and just delete. And we could, um, hide this one. As you can see, check our background. Just a transparent deselect. This is what we want. And we go, we go into go through the computer again. So any imperfections, don't worry. The computer knows we want plain background. We can do white though. We can just stick with white because it's going to go off that. Just click this and click erase and see any imperfections you don't like. You can get rid of. So for example, it did an extra foot. I do not want an extra foot. So I'm going to see delete it. Make sure go a little overboard. So it really tells the AI going, hey, one foot, one leg. Maybe a little bit too overboard, but you get the idea. Oops. Let's see. I don't want to go too much. I do want to get rid of the shadow because, yeah, I can think it's that. All right. Hold down Alt, left click right here, shrink it down about right here and just boom. And I want the shoes actually be green. So let me change that right now. Click this, go down to maybe that's 15 and right click and do a green. That's how this click green, 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 green. <laughs> Just click these. Make sure it's at the same level. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Just click on them. Okay, I do not want these. I'm actually gonna make these a little darker. Let's see, not too much though. Telling the AI that there's something here. Let's see. Oh yeah, I don't want these here. Just going to erase over these. I don't worry, but the character is not symmetrical. We can easily change that. All right. And for now, I'm going to click right here. Click erase. Then make sure it's at a size about there. Let's go about here. And after that, hold down left click, hold down shift. Then go across here. And this is going to make it flat. Don't worry about that. The AI is going to compensate for that. And the top is a little too high at one end. All right, and let's see, do it again. See, it kind of chops it, that's what we kind of want. And the stockings, I wanted them a deeper shade, so let's fix that right now. Hold down Shift, select this, then right click, and I want to bring it down about right here, and just click on it. Make sure at a high level, 15 seems to work. If not, make it darker.
All right, that's going to make darker stockings. You can also, like, let's say if you want a little, uh, that's probably a good color. All right, and if these were not here, the the garters, don't worry, I can easily add them. I would see, I do not want this right here. X wanted more in the middle. So let me fix that. Let's see, holding now Alt and left click right here. And do this one right here. Make sure it's the same thickness. Put it right here and just put it right here. So it's a six side uh, suspender. Can't see from the side because from the side. All right, so it has this cool design on it, which actually is really cool. I like it. So we see if we can keep that. All right, you're freaking out because there's no braid on the half on this side. That's actually good for 3D, but if you insist it has to have it, let me show you how to add it. All right, and let's click off to the side. We want a darker color and click this. So let's see, right click, you want it even darker. Just have it dark. Basically, we want to do a black line. Just remember shift and left click right here and choose your size. This is going to be the outline of it. So basically, like that. All right, watch out. It could be a little weird if we do that. Just depends. See, and then the race. We want to be somewhat smooth on top. Side view. And I actually don't like these bangs, so I can get rid of them. If you want a character 100% same front and back, you can do that. Just so kind of copy, put it over here and just I'll modify it in if you want to. Oh yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to click that. I'm going to right click. I'm going to do a red. Actually, just alt left click right here. Just fill it in. Let's see, I want it a little stronger. Let's do 25. Boom, boom. Then after that, just race the middle. Just put it in. Oops, a little too high. Let's do 10. It's a little too high again. Let's do 5. It's a little too low now. Let's do 7. 6. 6 it is. And don't want these, for example. All right, that should tell the AI that we want a braid there. We'll ponytail and just give it a good look over. All right, uh, wrong color skirt. So let's make this a yellow. I asked for a yellow. Let's make this, uh, oh, duh, uh, let's make, uh, let's make this uh, 20. It might be a little too harsh because I still want the lines. So let's do, uh, let's do a 15. How low do I have to go? I don't want that much green left on it. I want some because it does the the stuff I want. Let's see. That might be good enough because I still want some of the wrinkles in it. You can go high if you want to though. And the corset looks black. If not, I can just, you know, sloppily put that in there. Uh, I don't see the suspenders on the side. Um, right there. It's sometimes a good idea. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it freaks out. Oh yeah, I'm gonna click right here and click live and play. Boom! You see this? Oh yeah. Make sure you have the white back on. All right. As you can see, yeah, it looks pretty good. I got the colors I wanted, the yellow I wanted, the wrinkles I wanted. I want to have the suspenders kind of right here. Uh, sometimes they freak out and I won't give them to you, but I'm going to see. Oh, did it. I'm going to do more of a lighter tone. All right. And for example, the bow, I don't want that there. So I'm going to do a race. Let's see anything else I need to change. Let's see. 
I don't like this right here, so I'm going to change it. See. And as far as, let's see, just do a little bit of a darker color. You can choose where it goes out. Sometimes you can. And let's see. It's looking pretty good to me. Don't forget to delete this right here. So, oh, let's up this a little bit. We click right here, hold down shift, go about right here ish. Make sure you want to deselect what you selected. Click right here again and do it. Make sure you want to erase when you do it. Make it bigger, then do it again. Don't worry about that. We'll fix that. Uh, give it a good look over. See anything else you really want to change on it. Um, for me, this looks pretty cool. You see how I did that? We do not want that. So it can change. You also change the values up here. See, it starts to add more detail. Not too much, though. Probably right here. And let's see if we can get the leaves to grow. Over here. Sometimes it doesn't want to do suspenders. I'll just leave it for now. Go always add it later. All right, and once everything's good, make sure everything lines up. The chest, the end of the chest, uh, beginning of a chin, the mouth. I want to worry about it too much. It doesn't line up right now. Give a good look over, and once it looks good to you, can apply. All right, and that looks pretty dang good. So you can see if I got it now. I always like the so can add it. <laughs> Let's see. And this looking pretty good for me. Except for right here. I don't like right here. Just click on erase and add this. Oh yeah, make sure I had you bottom layer. Make sure you make it big. I don't know why it's not doing it. Eh, oh well. Once everything looks good to you, you can start up the scale. Let's see. Everything looks good to me. Let's do it. All right. I'm going to go... Right. Let's see. I don't want this. I click on this. Ah, click right here. Kind of want this all plainish. All right. Now it's time to up up the scale again. So let's do that. Go to image. Scale image to new size. Let's do double that. But it is about that much. Click that. But now it does take like four times longer over here.
And yeah, you see that? You can also go um, back and forth to this one as well. Just to see what the difference. I actually like that one more. All right. See the difference? Cost lower it so it gets close to the other one. Just depends. Let me go back to this. All right, this is the one I like. So I'm going to apply it. And as you can see, it's looking pretty dang good. All right, it just depends what else you want to do. This, for example, this is not good. Let's click right here and just click on white. Here we do that. I want the white, white to really tell it, hey, this is not okay. The best thing to do is get rid of the whole back. So I'm probably put this up to a 20, then do it. Not too high. It goes, let's which lead delete the back one first. Click on here. Make sure everything's selected. Then hold on, shift select that as well. Here, here, here. Make sure you get everything you can. Uh, it's got the arm. I do not want that. Dang it. Let's see. Let's lower this to let's do nine. Basically, keep going until it says it's okay. If not, we have to do it by hand, which isn't fun. Here we go. Got one. And just select all the ones that do it. After that, delete. Make sure you hide your previous layers. And you see how we have that one? Deselect. Add it back on. And now we just go to plus this. So you did add the background or not one add the background. All right, and let's get rid of this to tell it, hey, this is the back. And it's supposed to be white. Looks like it fixed it. If not, you can keep messing with it. And everything looks good. You see right here how it started to do an, an extra leg? We do not want that. Let's see, click this, then this, scale it, make sure you erase. I really want to tell that there's not another one here. Thinks there's another leg right here. See? All right, make sure the skirt lines up from both sides. Let's see, from the end, it's supposed to go up more. It's up to you if you want to match up. For example, the tip from the side view is supposed to go up uh, right there ish. So let's do that right now. Give a good look over. Looks good. I love how it has the uh, greens off to the side. And if it looks good to you, it's looking pretty dang good. Make sure to add ba this back on. And now it's time to up the resolution <sighs> again. Uh, you get interesting results. But before that, make sure everything lines up. Okay, make sure you erase. It's always little touches you can do. I don't want that big of bangs. Let's see the chin, the lips, the nose. Let's see the eyes. The nose is kind of off. Let's see, is it? Tip of it. The nose is pretty off. Let's do that. 
it's up to you if you want to fix it. The most, most important thing though for me is the lips. You can change it if it's off, if you don't like it. All right, it didn't do the earrings. I'm also gonna erase this. I do not like the hair in front of the earrings. After that, it's supposed to have green, bright earrings. Let's see if we can add it right now. Oh, here you go. Make sure it matches on both sides. Put it right here. Ears kind of match. Let's see. See, it's adding them right there. Just wait until it adds them on both sides. I kind of already did the one over here, it looks like. And I want this to be bright green as well. All right, and once everything's looking great for you, it's time to move on. And so you can apply this one if you want to. See a difference? I like to keep it more vague because it's going to upscale again anyways. So before we do that, make sure nothing's rendering. Let's see, go to here. Nothing's rendering because it says a zero right here. All right. We're going to up the resolution. It's going to take so much longer. All right. Upscale image to new size. And we're going to do double that, basically. Click this, and now it's gonna, uh, it could be here until the cows come home. All right, so make sure everything's really good. All right, this is black, I don't like that. Um, exit this. Let's see, actually. All right, and don't forget to add a white background. That's very important. Then click apply. All right, looks good. Looks just fine to me. If you want anything, little changes you want to do. The uh, face is beginning to turn. I do not like that, so I'm just gonna erase it. If you know how to do Photoshop, there's a way to like make it so it looks really good if you do this. For me, I don't mean Photoshop, I meant in this program. Krita, there's a way to make it so it all blends together. It's like a mush tool and everything. Take your time. Just depends how much time you want to spend on it. All right, so if everything's good to you, get a good look over, see if it looks good to you. And if it does, time for the next part. And I am going to, I uh, see, I'm gonna keep the white background actually, cause I can easily get rid of that later. We want to do our expressions, so we do that right now. Go up to, let's see, okay, make sure you have that selected. Uh, my computer's going really slow because it wants to render another one. I do not want to render another one, so I'm going to click right, right here because I already have the new one I, I want. Make sure you hide the one behind it. I'm going to do exit, save, go back. That didn't go back on it. All right, now we're good. I want to get this body. And we're going to select uh, right here. We go, I want about that much. Go to right click. I am going to uh, copy. After that, just move it over here. I'll just hold down control and I want just about about right there ish let's see and after that once you have it right there go to image 
and you could just go to resize image. I'm going to make sure this is off. I'm going to put this to a seven. Make sure this is off to the side, then boom. See this over here? A whole new room. All right, click this, right click, and we are going to do copy from layer. And actually, no, we're not doing that yet. Okay, and we set two different colors. Uh, I think it'll be fine. Let's see. Remember to click, click this. All right. First things, we're going to do deselect, and I want to get rid of, let's see, let's do the delete tool. Yeah, let's do this. Click right here, lower it down, way lower. Let's do a 10. Let's do a 20. You know, keep going until it says it freaks out. All right, that's good to me. I can do, let's see. that delete just deselect and all the rest we can just let's see we put it on a race right here and just race it Any other things you can take your time if you want to. I and I don't quite like all the peach color, so I actually want to get rid of that. Let's see, click right here. Just click off. Well, merge these together. Click on both of these and just merge. Have that click off to the side. Let's see, make sure you have all of them selected. Select over here as well, and just also hold on shift, select right here. Just do Do delete and click on here so you can see the background. All right, and now as you can, uh, we did not want that one. So just select the whole thing again. Let's go down to 15. Okay, go down to 10. All right, this is where it's breaching. So deselect, just add a little gap right here-ish. Doesn't have to be that strong, just enough that it just leaves it alone. Let's put this up to 20 again. Here we go. And just kind of hold down shift and click all the rest. All right, give it a good look over, see if you got everything else. If not, I can just hold down shift and select it. It's the final countdown. And you think you got everything? Oh, I do right here as well. Just delete and make sure you get rid of that. Just deselect to make sure you got everything. Okay, everything looks good. Don't forget to Did I not delete this over here. All right, then deselect. All right, and see, this is looking pretty good. Now I'm going to select this right here. Uh, duplicate, copy selects it to new layer. Then we could do it again. And we just want three. Not that now grab it. Holding down shift and left clicking down here. Right here. Then just click this one over here. Let's see. Deselect control T O. Oh. Control T, just move it down. Okay.
deselect, control T. All right, move it down to right here. I want them both scattered evenly. Control T. That looks good. All right, and we are going to everything basically looks good. And start doing the expressions. Make sure you just combine them all, merge layer beneath. Make sure you select your magic tool, select right here. Let's see, see so selects the ear. I don't exactly want that. Right here's fine. All right, now. Let's see, the first one we're going to do, we're going to do blushing right now. Put it right here. Come on, ah, then press play. Remember, we only have this area selected. See that? Up it. Well, that's that, apply. Okay, so see how I did the background incorrectly? Make sure you click it. It's only doing that, though. All right, click that. Uh, make sure you're on, oh gosh, deselect, then go back to that. Make sure you, have, you select on this one, just make sure you're on all day white. Make sure this one off and this one on. Make sure this is off. Click right here, then click lock. And as you can see, whole thing's white. Then click back on here, make sure you have this one deselected. All this one should be selected. Then we can go back and click on the nose and click play again. All right, now it's white, depending on how high you want these values. If you add these tag things, whatever the heck it's called, come, I don't know. If you add these at the beginning and end, it makes it stronger. It's up to you for how strong you want it to be. For example, if I add another one, I'm sorry, my Cord is in the way. All right, and just do apply. And we can click and click on here. Go select the notes. I want to add a different one on here though. Let's do sad. But one, it doesn't want to go too high. It's not really sad enough. That's good. And just apply that to that. Make sure you have this one selected. Click on the nose. And we're going to do angry. Let's see, let's do another angry right here. <laughs> Looks a little too nasty. Okay, let's do that. See and play. After that, click this off, deselect. We have the expressions that we want. And everything looks good. All right, once you're happy with everything and the arm that for some reason didn't get patched through correctly. <gasps> you know, imagine being perfect. Here we go. I'm going to patch that up. Alt left click right here and just fill. Okay, make sure you combine your layers. Let's see, make sure you click on these. Uh, let's see, merge with layer below. Merge with layer below. All right, now you can click on here. Let's see, looks okay. It could take your time, it could look more pretty. Um, I would have fixed that earlier, but I completely forgot and I recorded this tutorial so many times my head could explode. Yeah, and once you're done, 
Time to export. Make sure you click on that so you see the whole transparent background. Little pieces here and there that you forget. For example, this shows some whiteness around it. So I'm just gonna delete it. So you just click on it. Click on the outside. Of course, it's gonna go to the arm. Okay, it doesn't. Hold down shift and just cl click on it. What's what my skill? Let's do 25 because I'm kind of sick of this. Click this. So let's do white background so we know what we're doing. There you go, get rid of it. Okay, it's not going through the arm. Let's see. Just take your time. Make sure you select on all the parts that you need. All right, it looks like everything. Any other parts I forgot? I think I already did this. Let me see. Yeah, I already did. Let's do delete. Oops, sorry. Delete. That that deselect, and after that, click this, and give a good look over. Then if we get to save, let's see. Go up to file. Remember, if the buttons go down, export advanced, and I'm gonna click PNG, then save. <laughs> All right, and take a good look at your PNG. See if anything you forget, and it looks good. Depends on what you want. Let's do it.